Now I'm going to show you how to turn on nearby sharing um, on uh, this Pixel device here. Now nearby sharing also works on some newer Samsung phones. I know for at least the S10 and up, um, it should work the Galaxy S10 and up. Um, but basically it's kind of airdrop for Android. So I'm going to show you how to turn it on and how to use it. Now I'm using a Pixel device, so a Samsung phone will be a little bit different. Um, but it's going to be pretty easy. So I'm going to go show you the main settings here on the Pixel device. And then a little bit later, I'll talk about what to do on a Samsung device. So I'm going to go and jump into my settings here on my Pixel phone. I'm going to select connected devices. I'm going to click connection preferences. Then you'll see nearby sharing down here. Go ahead, tap on that. And you can see right now it gives me this pop-up menu at the bottom. Here's the device's name, and here is device visibility. So this will be um, for other people. So when they're trying to use nearby sharing, and if you're physically nearby them, um, pretty much in the same room, you have to be in close proximity, um, who's going to be able to see that you're available to share something with? So it says all nearby contacts can share with you and you can change that if you want to all contacts, some contacts, or you can just be completely hidden if you want to. So I'm going to say all contacts. If they're saved in my contact list and they want to share something with me and I'm nearby, I'm going to allow them to do that. So I'm going to hit save and turn on down here. And now you can see um, we have a couple more options and stuff here, but still it's kind of the same things we had before. We had device name, which I can tap on and change if I want to, um, device availability, which brings up those same options, um, and then just some more information down here. You can also set up number verification, um, but you don't need to if you don't want to, and you can always turn this off or turn it back on by jumping into these settings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually use this, how to actually share something. So I'm gonna tap on my photos here and we're gonna share a photo. So if I select the photo and click share, and this will work for anything, whether you're sharing photos, a web link or whatever it is. If you see that share button, you'll get your typical share menu here on Android. And if you swipe through the options, you're going to get the nearby sharing. Now, if you're a Samsung user, you can just go ahead and try to share something. This nearby option should pop up. And when you tap on that, it's going to go through a very similar setup process that we just went through in the main settings. Okay. So when you do it on a Samsung device or even a pixel device, you can just jump straight to this hit nearby sharing, and it's going to jump you through those settings we just went through. So I'm going to go ahead and tap nearby sharing. And you can see it's going to be looking for nearby devices and it found my other device. So it'll show multiple people here. You can select multiple people, but I'm just going to select the device we have. Now you can see on the second device here, I get the message that pops up and I can either decline or accept what's being sent to me. Um, this also may pop up as a notification at the top. So um, if you don't see this message pop up, make sure you are checking your notifications. So I'm going to go ahead and click accept. And you can see it pulls up that same photo and I can go ahead and share it with someone else or save it or um, do um, whatever I want with it. So that's how you go ahead and use nearby sharing um, on a uh, any Android device that supports it. And for right now, that's Pixel phones and um, some newer Samsung phones. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel. Thanks for watching.